Well, hello, and to all the viewers in the United States, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Independence Day. Uh, coming up in this video, I'm out with the Smith & Wesson 1522 again, with a couple of different scopes, doing some rabbiting. Let's get outside and uh, let's have a look at the Smith & Wesson in action. So this was whilst I was walking to the place I was going to sit and shoot in this sort of wild flower meadow and matey boy was here so I didn't have sticks, I had a little tripod that I was going to sit down and use so that was freehand, that's why the uh, world is shaking around. That's my Fox Pro caller a rabbit on top of it, the one I've just shot a few minutes ago. I put a bit of my stinky fish bait around there as well. The wind's going from right to left and there's a big mound of a bit of rough old soil over to the left hand side so quite um, sort of a foxy looking area so hopefully that and a rabbit in distress call might be the recipe to bring Mr Fox for dinner. So I'm out on a little small holding where there is no problem with foxes, but there's a massive problem with rabbits. So um, any foxes that come, I'm trying to attract. I'm not going to shoot them. I'm just trying to get them on video for us all to see. But you know what it's like working with animals. You can never plan anything. So it was a bit of a suck it and see. But as I say, plenty of rabbit action. And I'll be going back here with the air rifle, I think. It's a little bit quieter. And a bit more productive, I think, Chaps than the rim hours, fire. So it's probably a bit optimistic, but no, perhaps not. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've just been out and put the three rabbits I've shot all together, made a nice little family group, and looking back to this firing position where I am now. I've got the sun directly behind me and even I couldn't see where I would have been sat completely blinded by the sun so uh, with the wind going from my sort of three o'clock position directly to my right across to my left um, I'm in quite a good position for um, more rabbits and uh, any of our red friends so just really have a wait and see what comes along but there's plenty of rabbits around here that I can pick off one at a time this bank is 30 yards away. Let's zoom in. You've got one little chap there behind the teasels, and another little chap there. Sat him up nicely. Right, so remember what I said, the foxes aren't a problem here for the landowner, so just a nice little bit of footage here, safety catch is well and truly on, but it is nice to see these fellas uh, out doing what they're, they're doing, no interest at all in the rabbits, he'd obviously got a better offer at McDonald's. Yeah, nice to see them out in daylight doing what they do best, sniffing around, but there must be something else that he's going for rather than a dead rabbit. So don't always shoot everything, there's no need to. If they're not a problem, leave them alone. These on the other hand are a problem. That fella's 56 yards away, I think it's probably pushing its luck, but if I'd got a thermal camera, this whole bank up here looks like a Christmas tree there's rabbits everywhere on it there's a couple there I think that's probably probably a little bit optimistic doing this oh, tell you what there's no doubt about that was the this thing can admit it minister sleeping tablets better than our local pharmacy this one's 33 yards away sat up nicely 
So the rabbit shooting went on for another couple of hours. Uh, but anyway, here's something different. This is from one of my viewers, John. So to the average um, man in the street, it's just a horse box. But John was in the tank regiment. And you know what these tank boys are like? They've got to be sat in a metal box. So he's done a very crafty conversion, turned it into a shooting hide. He does crow shooting and fox shooting from this. So got all his uh, luxury items there. Look, got a drink there. But John did actually outgun me on the flasks well done for that mate nice to see you're drinking plenty of tea keep your kidneys working and a couple of clips for from some pictures that john sent me on some evenings hunts so four nice foxes there well done mate um, and a great idea on the hide so i'm out tonight with the smith and wesson and i've just put the thermion on it and zeroed this at 50 yards now that group of rabbits you can see are 75 yards away um, so it's just just a quick check so I can make sure everything's okay I'm not, no way I'm going to take a shot at these and blow my position I'm sitting here waiting for something bigger to come out so uh, the plan is to uh, get back to uh, have a go at the peacock killer uh, this week but with a thermal scope as the uh, fox is well used to IR light and as soon as he gets one glimpse of it he's gone long gone so this is the plan B go thermal and uh, see if we can get him without him even knowing I'm there and here is that offender um, so as soon as you get an IR light in his eyes he's up and gone uh, very crafty chap but hopefully we'll catch up with him another time sometime this week that straight away gone didn't even make a sound when he cleared off so uh, there's always another night for him bear in mind this is over at the cattle farm now with a chap that i'd seen um, some distance away now this grass is waist high for me um, and obviously all i can see is little glimpse of his his ears and the top of his head so a few minutes later he's a little bit closer i'm always walking forward as well as quiet as possible to try and get close that gap on him and wind was in my favour as well so it's coming from him to me so I knew it wasn't a problem again I've got a set of old wobbly sticks so it's a bit of an earthquake going on another one running off in the distance you can just see that's him and done for well as you can see um, the farmer here is leaving this field here to turn to hay, so it is actually waist deep. Oh, here he is here. It's waist deep here for me. Um, I'm sure he's no longer he's not with us. Uh, this crafty bloke, I saw him, he popped his head up, and then uh, he wasn't going to come any further. That's it. I see him. Oh, it is a dog fox, so. Yeah, nice one. It's not a youngster. But, um, definitely a, a fox. Don't think it's any sort of breed of dog, but I might be mistaken. So, uh, that's another one off the list. Well, thanks very much for watching. I say it's a work in progress with this new rifle, but um, it is a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, let's hopefully we can get on to that peacock killer one evening this week. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you later on another video. Take care and enjoy July the 4th. Cheerio!